We'd all like to have a professional lighting technician and an unlimited budget to get the perfect lighting set up for the perfect scene in our videos and films. But the reality is, most of us are lucky to have two or three lights in our arsenal and a very limited budget. Knowing how to control the lights that you have can help maximize their potential. Hang on to the end because I'm going to discuss the properties of light and using gels to control the color, intensity, quality, and color temperature of light sources. Learning to use lighting tools properly will help you create a great looking scene even with limited resources. Hi, I'm Jim Costa. I'm a videography, photography, and technology guru, but you can call me a dadographer. I've created many other videos on improving your photography, videography, filmmaking, video editing, audio recording, technology skills, and even others on using gels in your productions. And I'll link to those in the description below, and both during and at the end of this video as well, so stay tuned. If you want to learn more, remember to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to be notified when I upload new videos. I upload every week and I'll be uploading many more explanations of film, video, photo, editing, and tech topics. Stay tuned to the end to find out how to get my free DSLR mirrorless or interchangeable lens video camera cheat sheet that'll have you shooting your photos and videos like a pro in no time. Best of all, my cheat sheet specializes in shooting video with any type of camera, including mirrorless and DSLR cameras. In it, you'll find all the info you need on important video techniques, such as white balance, color temperature, frame rates, and more. I am a full-time working photographer, video producer, video editor, and technology pro. That's the small business that I own and it's how I make a living. You'll find my contact info in the description below. Contact me if you need photography or video production for you personally or for your business. Knowing a little bit about how light works can help you understand how using gels will affect your lights. Light has three primary colors, red, green, and blue. Light is additive by nature, which means that combining the three primary colors will produce white light, while mixing two colors together will produce a secondary color that is common between the two primary colors. Combining green and red results in yellow. Blue and green create cyan, and blue and red make magenta. A gel filter works by absorbing a specific portion of the light. For instance, a magenta filter will absorb all green light and allow red and blue to pass through. The red and blue combine so that we see magenta. This is important to understand because using color gels to create an effect can have interesting results with the colors in your scene. Whether it's the paint color on the wall or the wardrobe you're th that your talent wears. A white object will reflect red, green, and blue equally and we perceive the combination of those colors with our eyes and with our minds as white, so the object looks white. However, an object that is pure red will only reflect back the red portion of the light spectrum, absorbing all the green and blue. So if you shine a pure blue light or a pure green light on a red object, no color reflects back and it actually appears black. You have to be careful with any color you add into your scene. Make sure it's not going to negatively impact how things look on camera. Now that you understand a little bit about how light and gels can affect your scene, let's talk about attaching them to your lights. One of the most common ways to attach gels is to use classic wooden clothespins, sometimes known as C47s, and clip the sheet to the barn doors of your light. Other types of lights may have attachable frames to hold the gel. Just remember, you never want to place the gel directly over an open face light as it's sure to melt almost immediately. There are five types of gels. Effects gels filter the color of a light source to create an effect. Diffusion changes the qualities of a light. Color correction gels filter wavelengths of light and color conversion gels change the color temperature of a light source. Neutral density gels are used to reduce the intensity of a light source. Now I've also created a different video explaining what gels are and how they work. I'll link to that video in the description below as well 
so you can watch it when you're done with this one and learn a little bit more. Effects gels are available in numerous shades. Before the days of CGI and digital effects, color effects gels were one of the most important ways to change the ambiance of a scene. They're still popular, both for stage and screen. These can add color to a specific portion of a scene, such as a background or even to give an entire scene a specific mood. Colors in the amber range can create a warm feeling or indicate a daytime setting. Colors in the blue range can create a cold feeling and give the impression of a night scene. Colors in the pink range can be used to breathe life into different skin tones. Take a look at this scene and notice how the warm amber gel over the background lights is used to give the scene a warm feeling. Now let's switch out the amber for a blue gel. You can see the mood of the scene feels much colder. Now let's add a pink gel to the light on your subject and you can see how it warms up those skin tones. Next are diffusion gels. Diffusion helps control the quality of light. It also helps to control the size, shape, and intensity of your light source. It can soften hard edges, reduce the hot spot from a light, and change the contrast ratio of the lights and shadows when lighting a subject. The thicker the diffusion, the softer your light source will be. Keep in mind that diffusion can shift the color temperature of your lights. The most important types of diffusion include spun, frost, white, Rolux, silk, and grid cloth. Let's take a look at this setup with a hard light producing a shadow and see how different types of diffusion affect it. Spun diffusion uses non-woven material to create a light diffusion that softens the hard edge of the light, as seen on the bottom, while leaving the beam shape intact. Frost diffusion uses polyester material to create medium diffusion that spreads the beam while maintaining the center. White diffusion provides a medium to heavy diffusion that spreads the beam evenly and eliminates the beam center and edge with greatly reduced shadows. Rolox diffusion is a heavier diffuser that virtually eliminates the shadows. This can be used to blend multiple lighting sources to appear as one. Silk diffusion is a medium diffuser that directs the light to help reduce the cone-shaped scalloping effect from a light source. Great cloth is reinforced diffusion similar to silk that's ideal for larger applications. If you're using diffusion on the light that has spot flood control and you want to get the maximum light output from it, you'll want to adjust the control further towards flood so that the light fills the diffusion material fully without spilling outside of it. Next are color correction gels. These useful gels filter out certain wavelengths rather than altering the color temperature. For example, old fluorescent lights typically have too many green wavelengths. Use a color correction gel to remove the excess green. Green is an undesirable light for camera and stage because no one wants to look pale or sick on camera or in front of other people. Newer fluorescent lights offer a more balanced light so color correction gels are becoming less popular but still you want to know about them because you may be shooting in some place that has older lighting. Color correction gels are used to improve overall color balance in a scene by adjusting the color temperature of the lighting to better match other ambient light sources or natural looking colors. White balance your camera and color balance your lights for consistent and uniform color, especially in mixed lighting environments such as an interior scene with an open window that allows sunlight inside. Now, this is making sense to you, but I've got it in the comment section below. There are also color conversion gels. These gels change the color of your lighting by converting the color temperature. Color temperatures are measured in degrees Kelvin, so indoor lighting is typically 3200 degrees Kelvin, while sunlight and outdoor lighting are typically 5600K. Color conversion gels are described using acronyms. Color temperature blue gels are called CTB gels. Color temperature orange gels, on the other hand, are known as CTO gels. Color temperature blue gels are primarily used to cool down warm incandescent lights so they appear closer to white light, which reads around 5000K. They can be placed directly over or around your light source to help cool the color of warm lights. Color temperature orange gels on lights can cool the background while still maintaining fairly white light on the subject. This trick is basically the opposite method just described with the color temperature blue gel. Instead of adding a blue gel to a light, add a warm CTO gel to lower our camera's white balance and dramatically cool down the background. Next are what's known as neutral density filters. 
Controlling the intensity of your light is just as important as controlling the color. Neutral density gels are used to reduce the intensity of the light source without affecting its color temperature. Neutral density filters typically come in a range that reduces the light output from one half to four stops of light. Neutral density filters are a great way to make one light with the same bulb much more versatile. While dimmers may seem like an easy way to achieve the same task, it should be noted that dimming a light will lower the color temperature about 10K per volt when dimming. This can definitely create some strange mixed color temperatures in your scene. However, thinking of a neutral density filter as a dimmer, like the kind you have at home, is a better way to understand how they work. Although not technically a gel, but a filter, neutral density filters interact with lighting in the same way as a gel. Often called neutral density gels, these filters simply absorb every frequency of light. Whether you're in a confined space or need light that isn't quite as harsh, it's always a good idea to have neutral density gels on hand. Most video cameras have built-in neutral density filters that electronically stop down the iris to reduce the intensity of light entering the camera when shooting outside on a bright sunny day to keep your footage from getting overexposed. So learn about it on your camera and use it. Great lighting is one of the cornerstones of producing high quality projects. Knowing how to control the color, intensity, and quality of your light can help make your limited light kit shine. Now that you've got a pretty good grasp on the different kinds of gels available, it's time to consider how you'll use these gels to create new moods and scenes for your productions. The sheer amount of gels available can make it difficult to imagine what you'll do with all this light flexibility to make the most out of the lights you have with the gels that you get. Try a sunrise sunset look. Also known in the show business as the golden hour, sunrises and sunsets offer picturesque golden light that can help you achieve angelic dreamy shots. It's especially popular when doing photo shoots, like for weddings. Use one half CTO gels and straw gels in order to achieve this look if you're using LED lighting especially. Moonlight or romance. Another dream-filled location that offers a striking backdrop is one lit by moonlight. There's nothing more like moonlight to add mystery, romance, or fear to your production. Simply use blue or cyan gels to achieve this popular effect. Next is Party On. From discos to raves, lighting can make the difference between a believable party scene and a bland, awkward affair. Pair lights, gels, and other lighting effects for a dance party that never stops. Another look to try? cozy up by the fire. A warm fire can dramatically shift the mood of any production. Use full CTO gels to create yellow and orange firelight. Pull up a cozy chair and set this scene for a slow, contemplative, or romantic scene. My question of the day is, which of the lighting gels I've described in this video will you use to improve the look of your scenes that you shoot? Leave a comment below and let us know. Would you like to learn more about your camera settings to get you shooting like a pro? I've created an absolutely free cheat sheet for you on all the best camera settings to shoot video with your DSLR, mirrorless, or video camera that will show you the settings that will allow your photos and videos to shine and stand out from the competition. The link to get that cheat sheet is just below in the video description. I've also created cheat sheets on other topics such as video editing and now even offer training courses on editing video using Adobe Premiere Pro and soon I'll have others. I'll link to those cheat sheets and training courses below as well. Learn to edit like a pro with my training courses, I guarantee it. Do you want to see more videos like this? Follow my YouTube channel Jim Costa Films for more. Do you think Riso is great? Then like it. Do you have an opinion? Well, please comment below know someone who could benefit from the information that I provided? Please share the video. Do you want to learn even more? If so, then connect with Jim Costa Films on social media and online, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and the web. I currently have over 4,300 videos on my YouTube channel, Jim Costa Films, so feel free to check out many of my other videos for great tips and suggestions. If you follow me for a while, you may know that I have a community of photographers, videographers and filmmakers just like you on Facebook where I share other pro tips and tricks. It's called video producers and content creators. I love new members who want to share their work, learn from others, but also help others with their own knowledge and skills. 
You'll find a link to the group in the description below. So feel free to join it where you can learn much more.